Prior to World War II, the outcomes of war were usually determined by military size, munitions, and supply chains. However, with the invention of the Enigma machine and the focus on communication, the ability to communicate military information became much more important to winning the war than the size of the military. Taking World War I as an example, having large weapons, armies, tanks, aircrafts, and mortars were pivotal to winning the war. However, along with the development of such advanced weaponry and the emergence of more types of battlefields came the need to assure that diplomatic, military, and industrial secrets remained confidential and could be exchanged without the interference of the enemy. This called for a form of symbolic communication that could conceal the existence of a message as a jumble of letters and numbers. Thus came the Enigma machine that served as the key to the understanding the course of the war. This is the Enigma machine, created in 1918 by German electrical engineer Arthur Schrodinger. This electrical mechanical device went beyond just typing a letter, but it generated a secret polyalphabetic cipher. A polyalphabetic cipher is one where each letter or number in plain text is replaced by not just one single character, but multiple characters. To make things harder, the Enigma followed a progressive process known as stepping. Basically, when a key was pressed, it will cause one or more rotors to advance a step and change the substitution, which increased the number of possible combinations in deciphering the code. Although the Allies also had a commercial version of the Enigma machine on their side to inspect each of the several hundred possible combinations, the Germans would switch the order of the rotors at the end of every single day. This meant that all the honors progress made by the Allies would be utterly useless the next day, and so they would be back to the square one. Truly, all these features shed light on why establishing such a solid form of communication was so crucial during war times and why several efforts were made to penetrate the complex code. Efforts to decipher the Enigma began with Poland's Cipher Bureau. The problem surfaced on July 15, 1928, when they were faced with the German military messages broadcast that was much different from previous naval messages. Dumbfounded, the Cipher Bureau immediately recruited three students to solve the problem in five weeks before World War II, the Polish intelligence Miriam Rejewski heard about Germans planning to attack Poland. Alert to the Germans' next moves, before the war commenced, the British constructed a place called Bletchley Park that staffed one of the most prominent code breakers in history. They all looked up to one common goal, cracking the enigma. Now the rising power of Nazi party feared Poland advance as it was the surest way to revitalize German imperialism. The Allies associated a sucker from each other. France was responsible for intelligence and intercepting German messages, while the Poles availed with its cryptological potential. It was a great cooperation seen in long shot, but actually an uptight division in close up. Although Poles decoded some of the German messages, they did not share everything with the French ally. However, just as there is no eternal secret, a breaking event blew the Allies' minds. The Germans added two more rotors, increasing the complexity of the setups. Without any choice, the Poles revealed their findings. Their intransigent actions later resulted in a lot of friction between all nations involved in the operation during the post-war period. Additional rotors highly benefited creating German naval enigma codes. To the Allies, understanding the Kriegsmarine cipher system was absolutely crucial. German U-boats were inflicting heavy losses on Allied shipping and thus, the Allies desperately needed a more robust and sophisticated device to decipher the code. This is when the famous Alan Turing steps into the picture. Turing was one of the most prominent scholars staffed at Bletchley Park, and he is known to be the main contributor for breaking the enigma and one of the founding fathers of modern computing. He initially began by exploiting the mathematical and miscellaneous weaknesses of the enigma. Then, it was in March 1940, when Turing, along with his fellow scholars at Bletchley Park, constructed an electromechanical device known as the bomb that would take those flaws of the Enigma to its advantage in order to crack the sophisticated code. Although the British were already making huge successes in cracking the code, the bomb now allowed them to gain an insight on Germany's U-Boat Wolf Pack's plan and move one step ahead in defeating the Axis powers. Thankfully, Turing and his team succeeded to encode the Enigma and end the war quickly enough. But what if he failed to crack the code during the Battle of Atlantic? The consequences are unimaginable as it would have been bloody and destructive. In regards to the short-term effects, because of the situation in which World War II was severe, the breaking of Enigma was very significant as it shortened the war and saved many lives. 
During this period, there were an average of 7 million deaths every year in Europe because of constant fighting during the war. If the Enigma machine was not cracked by Alan Turing, more deaths would have occurred each year with an unpredictable amount as the situation of World War II escalated. The breaking of U-boat Enigma is particularly believed to be a major factor in shortening the war in Europe by as many as 2-4 years. If the U-boats weren't weakened, the 1944 Allied invasion of Europe could have been delayed by a year or longer, which would have created millions of deaths in that period. Now, how did this Enigma communication affect the world up till today? The work done by Alan Turing and other people to crack the Enigma machine not only contributed to ending the world war, but also to the development of modern computers. They were fundamentally important for the development of computer programming and data storage, which are the essential elements of modern technology. Devices for reading tapes became memory chips, and operating rules table became the central processing unit or CPU. Furthermore, with the advent of the revolutionary internet, our privacy is getting more vulnerable from the hackers. It became more dangerous to communicate safely via the internet. Thus, many people are increasing the use of encryption in communication in order to protect the information from these hackers. Besides, the communication of money system changed as well due to the development of encryption. The encryption technology changed the fields of industry and finance as cryptocurrency like Bitcoin has been popular in recent years. The IBM's Worldwire announced that cryptocurrency would group more than 70 countries around the world with payments. The beginning of Enigma machines led to significant developments in encryption and the result is the accommodation of cryptocurrency which opens up a wide possibilities of ways to use money. The development of encryption that started from the cracking of the Enigma machine has changed the way we communicate in a variety of fields. Once again, some of the greatest wars were fought during the early 20s, and those were not only due to the heavy supplies of advanced and destructive weapons, but also the establishment of a secretive form of communication. Before, one of the major problems of military communication was that in doing so, the enemy could eavesdrop into their opponent's communications and devise a counter-strategy. However, with the Enigma machine, the Germans were now able to freely transmit confidential information, orders, weather forecasts, instructions, and daily updates from one unit to another no matter the distance, because these jumble of letters and numbers they were now exchanging were all Greek to the Allies. The Germans knew that their enigma was unbreakable, and now they could enjoy a great advantage in World War II. Well, at least that's what they thought. With the Germans' military tactics strongly relying on symbolic communications, the entire focus of the war shifted from having large armies and destructive supplies to having smart, sophisticated, and strategic communication systems. The Allies knew that to stop the Germans on a roll and promptly end the war, they had to devote endless efforts to play the game by their Germans' rules. It was only a matter of time until the Allies took advantage of the constant hints and weaknesses of the Enigma elite and broke the communication lines the Germans erroneously believed in. World War II was not a battle to see who had the largest army and most catastrophic weapons. Rather, it was a competition to see which side had the most intelligence and strategic tactics that would put them one step ahead of the game. Although Germany itself was quite small compared to its enemies, they were able to turn the tides of the war by utilizing communication as one of their primary weapons with the use of the Enigma machine, thus allowing them to communicate crucial information whenever and wherever. However, because the Enigma machines were their strength and weakness at the same time, once they were cracked, their advantages were taken away and ultimately led to their defeat. This forever changed the importance of communication in relation to secrecy and how the machine changed over time and led to more important communication. These developments of Enigma have led to developments of computers, privacy and currency that significantly affect our daily lives today. The impact of the Enigma machine in the communication of history as a whole is indispensable and still exerts a massive influence today.